Hi, I'm Baby Doll from NotYourGrannysFarm.com. Today we are making a bed for some red wigglers. And we're not using a traditional method, we are using the tote method. So here I have my tote. I have a lid that's slightly larger than my tote on the bottom. Um, I have my newspaper shreds. I have my scraps. Uh, two pieces of cardboard, slightly smaller than my tote, a spray bottle with some water, and of course, I have worms. So, uh, you can use any size tote you would like, but you have to keep in mind the larger your tote, the more worms you're going to want to use. I've taken my drill and I've drilled holes on the bottom of my tote about an inch apart, and above well, below the rim of, of my tote, I also have holes going about an inch apart all the way around my tote for air circulation. So we're going to start off by dumping in, oh no, we're not going to dump in anything. We are going to first put in a piece of our cardboard. And you do have to cut this slightly smaller than your tote to get it to fit down in there nice and lean. You don't want to add any water to your bottom cardboard because you're going to get plenty of liquids coming from your scraps. Um, from there, you're going to add your newspaper shreds. Just add those evenly inside. That went about a third of the way up in my tube. And once we add our newspaper, we are going to add our scraps. Now in my scraps, I have lettuce, I have banana peels, I have egg crushed eggshells, coffee with the filter, um, apples, potato peelings, just you name it, it's in there. Um, now once we have our scraps in there, we can go on open our worms up here see what these beauties look like and we are just gonna add our worms in here they see their red wigglers and we're gonna add our worms they like that newspaper and they're gonna eat good off those scraps so I'm going to add two cups of worms, which should be great for the size of my tote. Now you're going to want to check this every couple of weeks, add more scraps, and I'll show you that in a later video. So we add our wigglers in there. Now. Now I'm going to take my final piece of cardboard and that one I'm going to soak with water. Get that nice and wet because we want to make our worms very happy. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to put that on top of our worms and that will help cut back on fruit flies, gnats. Put that in there. And now we have our lid. And there you have it. Our worm farm at Not Your Granny's Farm. <laughs>